Salutations, friends. It's your pal, said Stevie, and I am out for a rambling from the woods for the first time in a little while. Uh, it's just getting light out. Uh, let's see, quick time check. It is 7.21 a.m., almost 7.22 a.m. on uh, Sunday, March 25th, 2024, uh, the year of our good Lord. Uh, just getting to the trailhead here of the Mine Road Trail. Uh, there's actually two trails. Uh, this one, uh, it's the Niederprum. Niederprum? I don't know how to pronounce most of this shit. But uh, out here in Darrington, Washington, uh, just 15 minutes up the road from where I live, uh, crossing uh, a little creek here over this uh, bridge. But uh, there are two trails here. Uh, that one that the trailhead is marked for, I guess, is for like really like a scramble up to Whitehorse Mountain. I ain't doing that. I'm going on the easier of the two trails, uh, the Mine Road Trail. Uh, it's about a four mile round trip and uh, towards the end of the trail, I'll actually come to an abandoned mine. So it uh, looks like uh, this creek has definitely uh, topped off a couple times and it's washed out uh, quite a bit of stuff here. So, but uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's been a little bit since I have done any uh, videos uh, out and about. Um, I think I did one like right around the beginning of the year, uh, around New Year's back in January. I don't even remember where I was then, but yeah, uh, work has just been so ridiculously busy. Life has been extremely busy. I haven't had a chance to be uh, coming out uh, like I was there for uh, kind of over the fall. We're getting into springtime here and work is busier than shit. So, yeah, but it's definitely washed out uh, part of this trail here. So, always mind your steps, folks. Uh, as I've mentioned before, falling off trails is one-way ticket to Fuxville. And out here, uh, that's not a destination you want to uh, uh, be. Uh, I always like these smaller to larger creeks. I think this is kind of an offshoot of the Sock River before it feeds into the Stillaguamish River. And here's what uh, the trail looks like heading up. I don't think we have too much of an elevation change. Um, you know, I'm realizing right now, uh, I was gonna grab my gloves out of the truck and I didn't. And I'm kinda wishing I had. Uh, it's a little chilly, it's about 42 degrees out. Uh, we've been having crazy, um, spring winter here up in the pack northwest uh last week or week before it was in the like 60 high 60s low 70s uh, and then we get down to freezing temps overnight and uh but it was nice and sunny now the rains moved back in uh it's really foggy right now but it's supposed to clear up so hopefully as we get towards the end of the trail uh, we'll have some sun shining through the wilderness and uh yeah but so as i mentioned um just haven't had a lot of time uh for recreation over the last couple months uh lots of traveling for work i was just down in california last week kind of the calm before the storm uh this next week but then i'm going to uh i got two back-to-back -back vegas trips coming up all work stuff uh, and then uh, the one I'm looking forward to wasn't originally, but I have to go back to Montgomery, Alabama for a uh, work meeting, three-day work meeting. And uh, I'm going to fly into Atlanta for that. I'm going to drive down. I'm going to be stopping in Huntsville and hanging with uh, Vince, uh, Semperfy EDC guy, uh, Grateful Panic. And uh, Chain Chain, Edgy American, uh, for a day. And then continuing on uh, to my work trip. So, uh, looking forward to that. But yeah, lots of uh, travel as of late. So, that's really what's been going on uh, with me. I uh, haven't had just very much a leisure time, as I said. And uh, the weekends, uh, the week goes by so quick. And then the weekends come and I've been spending a lot of time with uh, the family. Uh, so, you know. This is this stuff I try to get out and do as much as possible, but as you know, 
uh, family first. So it is what it is, and I don't mind it. Uh, in the meantime, been keeping up with everybody uh, on the, all the different live streams and whatnot. But yeah, I have been itching to get out, and today seemed like a perfect day to do so. So it looks like we got a little bit of elevation gain uh, coming up here. Not too bad. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the Mine Trail Road. Uh, two miles in, two miles out. Uh, and then I think I might be able to go just a little bit further at the end, uh, depending on how high the creek is. So uh, we shall see. But uh, probably be out here for a couple hours just moseying along. The trail... Definitely shows signs of uh, some washout, so I don't know what overflows here. The creek is down over this way, but you can definitely see the washout. Other than that, the trail seems fairly uh, maintained. There were some reports of downed trees, some blowdowns. I'm not seeing anything so far. Obviously, lots of down trees over the years just right through here but nothing that should impede or hinder my travel this little start to the trail uh definitely get the blood flowing blood pumping huffing and a puffing just a little bit hello mr snail I almost stepped on you. Good luck on your travels. Godspeed. So the trail has leveled off somewhat. I see him going along this creek bed here. I got the high ground to the creek, but a little bit of a canyon down there. Oof. Almost tripped. Busted my arse. There was one other vehicle at the trailhead, so uh, there might be someone out here already. Not sure, or they could have continued uh, up the other part of the road. Not sure. So maybe I'll encounter someone out here. Maybe I won't. Maybe it's just me. That's always the way I prefer it. Not running into people is a good thing, in my opinion. Small little obstacle. Uh, we definitely have a big downed cedar tree over the trail here, but it is not a hindrance. Yeah, it looks like a storm wreaked some havoc through here. That uh, break in that doesn't look too old. So yeah, I don't know how fresh these uh, blowdowns are, but I'll be able to get underneath this, no problemo. Satisfaction would probably bump his noggin on that that tall mofo you know and i said i prefer not to run into people out here but one of the last hikes that i went on uh, i met a group of hikers uh, out on the Just ross some hikers bye ladies bye. have a great rest of your hike happy new year uh yeah uh those were the hikers what? How can you find me? Um, you want a sticker? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I, that was actually uh, pretty cool. Uh, that's the first time I'd really run into like a group of people uh, that were actually friendly enough to talk. And you saw I exchanged, or I gave them a sticker. And yeah, I uh, ended up finding them on Instagram. So that's cool. But let's keep the encounters uh, at a minimum got a big puddle i'm just gonna walk right through it i don't even give a f a little bit of a boggy marsh totally emotionless except for her heart you see lump over there come on that was good that was on the fly i didn't prepare that one I'm sure it's coming through the audio. Lots of frogs. Hearing lots of frogs in the distance. So maybe there's 
some more ponds out here or something. I don't know. Because frogs typically don't just run wild in the forest floor. More downed trees. I don't know. This is kind of cool looking though. I like the looks. Some signs of wood chips. So maybe someone was... I don't see any fresh cut stumps or nothing, but... Huh. Don't know. I don't believe there is any way to get a vehicle back here. So if anyone has brought equipment up or when they maintain the trails, uh, that's all on foot for sure. But this trail is uh, pretty well maintained, uh, which is nice. Most of the trails uh, out here usually are. So yay, Washington uh, Forest Service and all that. Them frogs is getting louder. You see that? And there does appear to be a pond. You don't gotta stop on my accord. Come on, I was digging what you guys sound like. Come on, let's get it going again, frogs. All them frogs shut up when they heard me. That's a bummer, disrupting nature's sound like that. I'm not seeing any frogs though. Where y'all at? Here, froggy, 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 froggy. Do what you want. That's the voice that I think a frog would have made if he was answering uh, me, I guess. I'm a little bummed that they all just shut up like that or quieted themselves. I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult you, frogs. But you heard how that had to have been loud. I'll, when I'm editing, I'll go back and listen to it. But uh, yeah, they all stopped. I done made them mad, and there has to be a ton of them. I mean, that was pretty dang loud, but I don't see none of them out here. So they have uh, remained hidden. I was hoping I'd see a shit ton of frogs. Maybe on the way back, frogs. I don't know. Oh, you're talking to frogs. So I'm hearing what sounds like more than a creek off in the distance. So back up over this way. Sounds like maybe we'll cross a river. The trail info didn't say anything. It just said creeks. But that sounds like a lots of water rushing. Maybe that'll quiet down too as I get closer. So we will get to see a old abandoned mine. I think it's a copper mine. But I've also read that it was a coal mine. So I don't know what kind of mine it was. Long since abandoned. I don't know uh, how far I can go in, how much I can actually check out. I did bring the Olight Seeker 4 with me. I recorded a video on this and the Dapper Ion X. And I thought at the time I was doing a pretty good comparison video. The video sucked when I started to edit it. It was too dark. I'm showing off the flashlights and you can't even really see them. I don't remember any of the specs about it. So uh, that video uh, got half-assed edited and then deleted. So maybe one day I'll do more videos on that. But uh, Lefty EDC sent me that light a couple months back to check out as a gift. So shout out to Lefty EDC. That douche, uh, the Seeker 4, is a usable flashlight and not bougie so I'm not surprised he sent it along but uh, hopefully uh, it's a it's a good thrower uh, light um, so I think that'll be a good light to use to check out the mine and we are coming up on I think this is Moose Creek this had to have been what I was hearing uh, this is not a river this is definitely a creek coming down the mountain Was all the way up and back there.
What in the Sam Hill happened here? It's a freaking massacre. Why is this all strewn about like this? I don't know. Looks like someone like raged on this old tree. Old rotten log. I don't know. Seems a little odd. But who knows what goes on in these parts. Sasquatch could be lurking. Again, if the, I was Sasquatch, this is where I would be. So much wilderness. So much thick forest out here. Who's going to find you? Who's going to find you out here? If you're just hanging out. Uh, speaking of Sasquatch, uh, in pocket, uh, a knife I haven't really done any content on yet. And that is the... NC Blades exclusive uh, Sasquatch Spartan Harsey Folder. Uh, this has been in my pocket just about every single day this year uh, since I got it. Uh, you can see it's got the sweet Sasquatch uh, laser uh, etching into it. And here we go. Shout out to Tree Stabbing Troy, a.k.a. Troy the Moffo. Uh, there you go. But yes, the Spartan Harsey folder is awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, it was very quirky uh, out of the box. Uh, I had a lot of lock stick. Um, I had to mess with it quite a bit. <coughs> Rub graphite on the lock face. Um... It's worn itself in though. Uh, this is obviously running on phosphor bronze washers, but it has uh, broke in very, very, very well. Uh, these exclusives uh, that have been coming out, also uh, it's in Magna Cut. Uh, a little soft on the Magna Cut. I think they're only doing like 60, 61. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's on the lower end of the <coughs> 60s that they're running their Magna Cut at. It's uh, been doing good for me. Uh, thick geometry on this knife. Uh, that's kind of what it's meant to do. And uh, I will eventually be sending this off to uh, Satsu Dave to do a hollow grind on it. I think Crispy just did uh, his. I talked to Dave a while back, and uh, he said he was down to do it. And I was going to send it to him right away, but I haven't wanted to stop carrying it. So, um, yeah. Love the uh, Harsey folder. Um, let's see. Uh, Sharif's got like three of them at this point. Work knife balance got one. Uh, he got the full size. And then he also just got the 3.25, the smaller Harsey, which is something I am also interested in getting. Uh, but I think I'll probably wait till Blade Show and pick up like one of their exclusives or something. But uh, love me the Spartan Harsey folder. Fabulous knife. Check out this pond. It's not raining. There's something definitely dancing around. Skipping around down there. It's not doing it in that part of the pond. So what's causing all that? Is it just water dripping down? I don't know. Kind of funky though. I mean, it's not raining. I'm not in the canopy. I'd feel raindrops and I'd hear it. I don't know, that's a little trippy. What could it be? All right, well, I don't know how long it's been since I stopped recording, but uh, the area has opened up a little bit. And now I can start, I think this is the face of White Horse Mountain, if I'm not mistaken. And now I can definitely hear uh, the creek or the river in the background. And I can also see some waterfalls. Uh, out there a little way so I think uh, we might be getting close to the end of the trail into where the mine is so I think this is the Sock River right here I'll have to verify that on the map but I think this is the Sock River and you can see there's still a little bit of remnants of snow out there I'll probably start seeing the face of the mountain a little bit better through here Still snow up there. 
We got a lot of snow early on, then it warmed up and rained and all melted. Uh, caused a lot of flooding and mellowed out. And then we just got a lot of snow again. So, it's been a funky winter into springtime. I have a feeling we are very close to the end of the trail, but I haven't looked at how far I've gone or anything yet. I hope I can get down there. I want to get down there. So this is definitely washed through. You can tell when we had probably a lot of that snow melt. Uh, water was clearly running through here. So, yeah, yeah. Lots of moss on this tree. What the heck is that? What's this thing doing out here? It's like part of a trailer. For a head. I don't know. Why would that be out so here? So I think my suspicions have been confirmed and I have made it to the mine. There it is. Okay. Now, is it worth going in here? I don't think it's too... Hello? Hello? Are there any monsters in there? Hello? Anything supernatural going on? God, I just saw Ghostbusters last night. If there is something uh, spooky in there, can you not be spooky for a little bit? I'd really appreciate that. But I think I'm gonna come in here for a few yards. Or do I have to, that water looks deeper than, yeah, damn it. I don't know, let me check it out. All right, well I'm gonna attempt it. I might get some wet feet, but I wanna go back in here a little ways. Can't come out to the mine. I'm not going inside the mine, right? I've never been inside a mine before. This is kind of cool. It's also kind of spooky. I'm not that far into it. Water's not too bad. All right, so there is no light penetration in here. Without the flashlight, it's completely, completely pitch black. All right, this will be as far as I go. I'm not going to try to trudge through all that. Yeah, it's dark. Okay. Spooky enough, right? Well, that was cool, I suppose. All right, so I'm gonna uh, make my way out. All right, listen to the acoustics in here. Wall, 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 wall. So spooky. Oh, what is that? What is that? Big piece of iron sticking out of the rock face there. At least there's like no hobos or anything living here. Any drifters. All right. I am going to head back out and uh, see if I can't uh, go out to the river. Well, I managed to make it uh, through the cave without getting my feet wet, and I was able to make it down to the river. So I've just been chilling for, I don't know, 
probably about 20 minutes or so, just hanging out down here, unwinding. You'll hear me say in every video, that's the main goal of all this, is to actually get some downtime, and some chill time, uh, get my mind right out in the, uh, out along the river. That's my favorite way to de-stress, I suppose. As I probably mentioned in the beginning, uh, lots of work as of late. Uh, work has been busy, busy, busy. Whole bunch of new responsibilities. And it's, uh, it's pretty stressful. So it's nice to be able to uh, get out here and chill for a little bit. Uh, I also, I don't know what's going on with my phone, but it says my internal storage is getting low. So I don't got much longer to record. Uh, last thing I'll show off in pocket. Uh, really the only thing I've been making content on as of late. I do have that Mangana Steel Kaimano in pocket. Love this thing. I did throw a sand-washed Lynch Northwest uh, Protec replacement clip on it. Kind of matches the holster and the uh, back uh, spacer there. So closer in color to the original uh, pocket clip that came on it. Fine pocket clip, but if I can put a Lynch clip on it, you know I'm going to and get that extra deep carry. So that's also in pocket. Uh, that Seeker 4 came in pretty handy. Uh, I don't remember all the specs on this, but yeah, uh, I dig it. It's a nice flashlight to bring out for something like this. So I'm going to hang out for just a little bit longer, uh, make my way up, and then uh, maybe record something. I maybe get back down to that pond that had the weird bubbles going on in it, see if I can make it down there. If not, uh, I will wrap things up when I get back to the truck. Back at the truck. Uh, it only took me about 40 minutes or so to get back down. I lollygagged a little bit, so probably could have cut that uh, time a little bit shorter, but uh, it's okay. Wasn't a lot of stuff to film. Oh, by the way, I started putting stickers on my uh, Tumblr, friendly. I've had this on here for a long time, but so you got Jack's lungs, broke ass knives. Shout out to Cole. Ooh. Uh, shout out to Tactical Terry. Shout out to Grumpy Grunt. Uh, these are some of my favorite stickers. I'll add more. I gotta start doing something with all my stickers. Put them on stuff. But anywho, uh, now comes the fun task of driving home and deciding when I want to edit all this together. Uh, I wish I would have had more storage space on my phone. Uh, there was more stuff I would have recorded uh, in the cave and whatnot, but I was running low on space and so. That's all right, though. I will come back out here again. Uh, I like this uh, hike, so maybe Work Night Balance will want to come out here with me. Maybe we can get Steve Claire up here. Um, Frankie, Stiff Beatent, you know, the local homies. Uh, Ethan Ruins EDC is now uh, back in Washington, and he's up this way. Love to get Ethan out here. So this is a uh, quick and easy, fun uh, hike, so... Yeah, we shall see. But anywho, that's all I got for you, folks. I truly appreciate you tuning in. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Until the next one, I bid you mofos. Or deuces. Bye.